welcome back to my channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so because you don't want to miss it. We're going to be doing a lots of giveaways and money prizes. So a lot of things coming your way. On today's episode, we're in the kitchen. Tarali we're making today. Easter Tarali. Tarali Dolce. I like my, my apron with the Easter bunnies on it. Cool, huh? And I even have the matching mitts. So there's different types of tarales that you can make. You could have savory tarales and you can have sweet tarales, which is what we're doing today. Tarales come in all different sizes and flavors. You can make them savory with rosemary, fennel, pepper, or olive oil. There's so many different options. And then there's sweet tarales, like we'll be doing in today's recipe. We'll be making a traditional Italian Easter tarale dolce. I know that when you see these, they look like donuts. So if you're going to, if you're not familiar with this, and if you're going to grab it and you're thinking, donut like american donut it's nothing like that you have to think more so it's like a cookie it's definitely semi-sweet so it's not like this ultra sweet cookie it's not a cake you have to think more of a biscuit it's so good it's delicious you're gonna love it it's gonna be fun guys so let's get ready and when you're ready to make Easter tarallis, you just always can refer back here. I'll have the recipe in the description. I might have some links for some things that maybe I'm using today. Let's get started, guys. Part one, the tarali dough. Five eggs. Of sugar, that's one fourth cup. Make sure you take note if you're converting grams to cups, you have to add into the equation the ingredient because every item has a different weight with a different amount of space that it takes up, as grams are a measurement of mass and cups are a measurement of volume. One fourth cup of sugar. Please try to use as much organic ingredients as possible. Please excuse that noise. It's my coffee maker shutting off. Sorry. Two tablespoons of vegetable oil. And for today's vegetable oil, I am using safflower seed oil. One. Two. You gotta put love into it too as you're doing it. Pinch of salt. Pinch of salt. And you're going to whisk. zests of a lemon. This is my zester. You want to get the zest from two lemons. You just go all the way around. We're saving the lemon because we're actually going to be also using the lemon juice for the glaze. Mm -hmm. oh, it smells so yummy. Mm, my kitchen smells so good right now. This is a little zester tool and it even has the little swirl knife. But for a bigger job, you can always use this kind of grater. Make sure it's this type and this will handle the bigger jobs. Okay, so two teaspoons vanilla extract. Guys, make sure you get very good vanilla extract. And two. 
usually a little um, a little bottle like this. But look at that. almost done. So we're whisking this together. And guys, when you make your uh, kitchen and you organize it. You have to have all your utensils and stuff organized in a place that the least amount of walking and the least amount of moving in the kitchen for the chef is a well-designed kitchen. Great. Add this. Add it. grams of all-purpose flour and that is four cups and to this we're going to whisk so out in my Mackenzie child I have my utensils that I like to look at or the ones I use mostly I have them out but everything else is in my drawer right here so we got active yeast, one packet, which is seven grams. And you just sprinkle it all over and you whisk. Now at this time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this. off the whisk to add the paddle attachment. We're gonna let this rise now. All right, this looks nice. Let's cover this baby up. This was a little warm. Cover and let sit for 10 minutes to rise. To always put love and intention in it. That's your magic. Made with love. Beautiful. Yay! Okay. Now before we get started, preheat oven to 350 degrees. I like using parchment paper. Just make sure you cut off the excess. Now it's time to create the trolleys. Yay! Shape it into a long, thin loaf. Cut into one inch thick pieces. Take each piece, roll it out, keep it narrow. When you 
need some vegetable oil. Add vegetable oil to one side. Flip it over. Let's flip this over here. And now that's nice. All right. And repeat with each piece. Oil it up and close it up, flip it over, bring it around, just like this, and connect and pinch together. Just pretty. And repeat with each piece. Got my panna back. Yay! They say that the first Tirales were created by a mother in Italy who was trying to feed her children with whatever she had in the pantry. But it is also possible that Tirales first came from Greece back in BC. You know, you can really create a lot of magic in the kitchen. It's all about the intention you're putting into things while you're cooking. So always make sure you're positive and happy while you cook. Because I promise you, this is what you're going to create for your family and whoever's eating it. Make it with love. Always make it with love. Oh. Did you ever see the movie For Water Like Chocolate? That was good. And it was all about when they were creating um, this food with their family. And if they were upset and they were crying when she was making this food and when the family was eating it, they were all just start crying and they didn't know why. And they were sad. And then there was another time when she was creating something and she was so happy and in love and then all of a sudden everybody was it was like euphoric there's a lot of truth to all that so it's all how what you put into your food as you're cooking so you really have the power ladies and gentlemen i should just say chefs you have the power it's actually being ingested all the emotions which is creating their reality, which is making magic, baby. It's making magic. I promise you in all my cooking videos, I'm gonna say the same thing about creating magic because it is so true. Okay, close it up, spin it around and seal it up. Okay, only a couple more. And then we put it in the oven for 15 minutes on each side. And we gotta create the glaze and sprinkle it with sprinkles. It's fun! Me, what I'm putting into this, I'm holding the intention of happy thoughts. And also, things flow easy. I'm feeling like anyone who's gonna be eating these are going to experience a fulfilled life and whatever's happening at that time and things that they were hoping for is gonna flow to them full of love. Okay, now we're on our last one. You know, we create our own life we create our own reality. It all starts with how we think. So let's help out our family members and friends who eats our food. All right, and they're all ready to go.
bake for 15 minutes and then take out, flip each one over and bake for another 15 minutes. And for part two, the glaze. Okay, so start sifting. Uh, you can use a sifter, you could just use this too. One and one third cup of powdered sugar. my sifter. Just go like this. Just let it go through the little holes. Easy easy. This is just taking the crumbs out. That's all it is. It's just making sure that it's extra fine so that it won't clump. Okay. All right. So that's all sifted. Okay, so just sifted this. Now we're going to start mixing. And to the powdered sugar, you're going to whisk in two tablespoons of melted butter, the juice of one lemon, Tablespoons of water. So good. Okay, so that was about fifteen minutes on each side. This is how they look. Let them cool. And you're going to start dipping the glaze. Let it run off. Because it's just supposed to be just a little bit, just so that you can put your sprinkles on. I still have more. Let's use this all up. I don't want it to go to waste. But then I'm going to put them all on. Before it dries, we're going to put sprinkles on it. Uh, it's always nice to pick out the color sprinkles that would be good for springtime because this is an Easter dish after all. Basically I want to say this is I'm using up all the rest. It's all gonna be done now. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this. With all these little babies stick. <gasps> fun, fun, fun. I don't know if this is too many, but listen, it needs to look beautiful. You can bring these to wherever you're going. So if you're having people over for Easter, hey, even if it's just for yourself.
right, guys, so that was it. I hope you try this at home. Let me know how it goes. And please don't forget to subscribe because there's gonna be a lot of fun giveaways and money prizes. <laughs> Bookmark this video so that whenever you're ready to make this recipe, it'll be there for you. And let me know how yours turned out in the comments. I'm excited to know. That's all guys, thank you, bye. And look, Whoa, la, 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 la. look how beautiful. Ooh.